It was just add the camera battery dying on me on top of this disaster. Get on the tripod. So instead of releasing the video that I actually wanted to put out this week, I get to tell you another story of my extended usage of macOS Monterey. So here's the deal. All right, I just got done shooting twice the video that I wanted to put out today. It was a reaction to a room tour from when I first moved into this house that never got released on YouTube. The first take came out absolutely perfect. I said everything I wanted to say, I said everything how I wanted to say it, and it was just a really good time. What happened after the first take was I took the SD card out of the camera that's shooting this video right here and plugged it into my card reader. And then Finder, Apple's version of Windows Explorer, for those who are not super familiar with how macOS works, locked up, basically rendering the entire iMac totally useless. So I was like, okay, this has happened before, no big deal, let me just restart it. Finder closes, and it does not reopen. I click the little Finder icon in the dock, nothing happens. So I'm like, okay, cool, Audition's still running, let me save the audio recording from that, and just restart the whole machine. So I did that, Audition tells me that the file saved successfully and all that good stuff. So I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and restart the iMac. I restart the iMac, Finder finally comes back and everything seems to be working great. And then I find out that the file that got saved was only nine minutes long. For the record, the actual length of that audio recording was more than a half hour. So I'm already not too happy, all right? That, that good take just gone completely to waste. And I, I can hear all you guys typing down there in the comments, oh, why didn't you just use the sound that your camera recorded? Do you want to listen to a video like this for a half hour? Because I know that I wouldn't even want to edit a video that sounded like this because it's just so bad. The onboard mic on this camera is pretty much unusable. So I said, okay, fine. Let me go ahead and reshoot the video. I spend 50 minutes reshooting the whole video only to have the screen recording save at 15 frames per second when I set it to do 30. As you can probably tell, I am super, super happy about that. Um, it's not like I wanted to release that video today or anything. It's also not like I wanted to be, you know, asleep right now at 5.08 in the morning. But here we are just recording this video so I at least have something to put out on a Friday because I already missed uploading last Friday and I didn't want to do that again. Apple, you need to fix Monterey. It came out in October. I don't understand how Monterey has been out publicly for five months now and there's been updates where now... What version even are we on? We're on Monterey 12.2.1 right now, and for those who don't know, the launch edition of Monterey was 12.0.1. So in the mix, there's been somewhere along the lines of three updates, and absolutely none of the issues that were here on launch day have been fixed. It's, it's very awesome, very thankful that um, Apple is still continuing to not fix this terrible, buggy version of macOS. At this point, it is straight up worse than El Capitan, and that is a feat that I did not think was actually accomplishable. But here we are, in 2022, with macOS Monterey, it's terrible. And Apple needs to fix it, and I still wish I could go back in time to Monterey launch day and say, hey retard, don't update, it's gonna ruin your life and just make everything not good. But no, I can't do that. And keep in mind, guys, the only reason I updated to Monterey is because certain features within Final Cut Pro, Apple software, mind you, required macOS Monterey to work. I didn't want to make three videos on this topic, but here I am doing it anyway because it's so bad that it actually caused me to not be able to do the video I wanted to release today. It's driving me insane. I can't believe that it's still this bad after five months. I would have thought that by the first update to macOS Monterey, everything would have been fixed, but no, it's still just as bad, if not even worse, than it was on launch day. I can at least say that the update to Final Cut that was released a few months ago, version 10.6.1, seems to have fixed a good amount of the issues in Final Cut, but it's still not as good as version 10.5.4 running in macOS Catalina. 
and I wish that I could just go back and not update because if I never did update to Monterey, you would be watching the video that I actually wanted to put out today instead of my third rant on how bad macOS Monterey is. It's, this is just a thing that happens now, I guess, under macOS Monterey. So guys, I'm going to reiterate the statement that I've made in the other two videos on this topic. If you haven't already updated to Monterey, don't do it. They're still releasing security patches for Catalina and uh, Big Sur. So if you're on either of those versions of Mac OS, just, just stay there. Trust me on this one. You will regret upgrading to Mac OS Monterey, especially if you do professional video production for a living. This is just not a good time. Anyway, though, guys, that is going to be it for this third rant on how terrible Mac OS Monterey is. Hopefully next Friday, I'll actually be able to put out content that I want to make instead of just making these rant videos on Apple. Anyway, though, guys, that is going to be it. And as always, thank you for watching.